Stop telling me to get blind. You wanna pay for it? I didn't think so. You wait until you buy a house and you're trying to find the perfect window coverings for your sanctuary. Halloween, it literally kickstarts my favorite time of year, fall and winter. Summer's gone and all the bugs went back to hell. Halloween, Thanksgiving, then Christmas, the absolute best time of year. I have always loved Halloween, but for all my years of living under my mother's roof and fathers, but he was never home, so you know. We were not allowed to really celebrate Halloween. And I remember when I would make friends and they would ask around this time of year, what are you gonna be for Halloween? I would have to say, we don't celebrate Halloween. Why? Because we're Christian and it's the devil's holiday. And they're like standing in their cupcake outfit to go home and ask mom, do we worship the devil? Yes, you do, children. Yes, you do. And I'm not too sure, just in my mom's favor, and she knows that I'm making this video because I told her, I'm gonna roast your ass. I'm exposing you. This hurt me as a kid, but I don't know if it was more of like a, huh, Halloween's not super Christian and I'm not really into it, so we can just do without it type thing. Other than like, oh, you're worshiping the devil and this, this and that, just to put that clearly. I think it was more like, mm, we'll just do without this holiday because my mom wasn't too into it. But nonetheless, from my little girl point of view, I was very upset that I couldn't celebrate Halloween. And so every year I get reminded of how horrible my childhood was when all the other little kids got to dress up as a cool monster and vampires and I, little Michelle, didn't. So every year I call my mom up and complain. And now I'm complaining to you. So many of you are in my inbox like, wow, you must have had such cute outfits when you were little. No, that's why I dress up now. Let me tell you what it's like being a child that can't celebrate Halloween. So we were homeschooled. Yeah, one of those that some of y'all call socially awkward freak. That was me. And I have to say, because I know some of y'all who homeschool your kids are going to nitpick my words and say, oh, <laughs> You're talking bad about homeschool people? No, I liked homeschool. I did both public and homeschool. I think for me and how I learned homeschool would have been better and I was a natural social butterfly. So I didn't turn out socially awkward and can communicate pretty well with the outside world. But that's not this discussion. We're talking Halloween and how I didn't get to celebrate it all throughout my youth, okay? Stay on topic. So every Halloween, oh my God, I remember when the nights would fall and we would be so excited, not for trick or treating, for literally we would peek out the upstairs window so that we could see all the kids running around, having fun in their extremely cool costumes. That's what we were excited about. Seeing all the other kids get candy in their costumes and just lifting up those blinds and peeking out. Dinosaurs, vampires, zombies I was infatuated I wanted to go so bad but my mom was like no you stay inside I'll just buy you candy myself that's not the point mom so the homeschooled kids were left peeking out of the blinds watching mesmerized you know what just to get off course because that's what we do on the channel something else that I remember doing every single morning is waking up me and my brother when we were close is we would wake up maybe not every single morning but we would wake up in New Jersey and we had a bus stop pretty much right outside our house and we would wake up run to that window watch the kids wait for the school bus for some reason, it was really exciting. And then we also had a basketball hoop outside of our house. Maybe it was a tetherball. I don't know. It was some kind of thing that you could play on. But sometimes the outside kids would play with it and we would be like, oh my God. It's almost like they're playing with us because they're playing with our toys. Friends. And then the bus would come and we were like, oh, 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 oh. A school bus. Like in the shows we watch. Is Miss Frizzle gonna be in there? Belts, everyone! Are they gonna go on to some scientific adventure? This is the things that we thought as homeschool kids because I've never seen a school bus before. So it was just so mind blowing to me to see something that I saw on TV and then see it right outside my house. And kids were playing with my toys. Back to Halloween and us being the homeschool kids observing all the children having fun and having fun looking at the kids have fun. So now that I'm older and it's still in my head and my mom would probably say, this is not my worst nightmare, but what I think her worst nightmare was when we were children was the chance of us meeting people that don't do things like us. I think that's probably a lot of parents like nightmare. They don't want their children. They want to like brainwash their children, which I get it. I mean, you have your, you go through life the way that you want. You raise your kids the way that you want to raise your kids, right? I understand it. I'm not talking bad about that. I just think it was my mom's worst nightmare because when we moved to Virginia, I started making a lot of friends because I was in a lot of activities, but she actually liked one of the girls that I became pretty close with in high 
karate. And then bonus, she loved her mom. They were a very nice family, religious, really fun. Everybody got along. So we did things as family. And then one day, Halloween comes upon us. And their mom asks if we wanted to go trick-or-treating with them in their neighborhood. Bom, bom, bom! My mom is shook, but she likes the family. So what does she say? Yes, and I am ecstatic. I get to go outside? Outside the house, mama? With my best friend? I was so excited. So my best friend said she's going to be the red M&M. So it's only natural and makes sense that I were to go as the yellow M&M right? There's no way my mom is going to say no. It's not evil. It's not demonic. It's an M&M. In fact, her favorite candy. Whenever we went to McDonald's, she would go get the M&M McFlurry. This is just common sense. There's no way she's going to say no. She's going to happily drive to the store and get me the perfect costume so me and my best friend can be the perfect best friend Halloween duo. It's going to be amazing and it's going to kickstart my first ever trick-or-treat bonanza fun fest. No. What? How could you say no? We can make you a costume at home with what we got. You know how you want to go to McDonald's and your parents say, we got food at home. Well, my mom is also the, we got a costume at home. All you little children who want to be something all year and Halloween comes around and you're super excited to be that one character that you resonate with so much. Imagine the exact opposite feeling of that. At seven or eight years old, you're just broken. Your whole world is coming to an end. And mine was because I couldn't be an M&M. So what was I? My mom took out my hair out of the braids, fluffed up my afro, threw on some bell-bottom jeans that didn't fit me well at all, and said, have fun. And like I said, I was around seven or eight and I still remember marching up to every house. Everyone else looks amazing. And the adults handing out the candy one by one will compliment each individual child and know exactly what they are. And then they get to me about to hand me the candy and say, what are you? A 70s girl. And from then on, my mom let us celebrate Halloween, but I was allowed to be a 70s girl every fucking year. <laughs> In fact, I remember when I went to school the first year, I had a lot of friends, fourth grade, and my mom said I could have a party. A costume party, mama? I asked. And my mom was like, yes, of course. We'll make it a 70s birthday party. It's so easy. Let's just take out those braids and fluff up your afro. I can't even be an M&M. And so this year, I called my mom for our regular me complain about not having a Halloween-filled childhood. And she has the audacity to say, I let you guys go trick or treat like once when you were really small, you just don't remember. You even had a costume. And she sends me this to prove it. And it infuriated me. I need my audience to answer this. What the hell am I? What am I? These were my normal clothes that I wore every day. And you know what extra infuriates me? Mom. <laughs> Why the hell does my brother have a full on costume of his favorite character? And I'm just a little girl. I don't know, what what the hell am I even holding? Like mom, what did you say? Oh, Michelle needs a prop and throw. I, what the fuck is this in my hand? This is why I have mental problems, okay? This is why I'm crazy. My brother, who is a horrible person, by the way, gets a full head to toe Sonic the Hedgehog outfit and I'm, just a girl. I texted my mom and asked, what the fuck was I, mom? And she laughed at me. <laughs> I don't know. I think you were uh, Dorothy or something. <laughs> you forgot Toto. <laughs> Oh, whatever his name is. So she don't give a fuck. There are plenty of non-demonic things I could have been. I could have been a dragon tail, DW from Arnold, Susie from Rugrats, the black girl, so many options. But no, I was myself. The one day of year that we can be whatever we wanna be. And I was myself. So people who say, you're old, why are you dressing up? Because I didn't have a Halloween childhood like you. Okay, I wasn't privileged to get any costume that I wasn't. I wasn't privileged to go door to door and get free candy. Okay, I was myself every year. Do you know how horrifying that is? You think I wanna be myself? So just a warning to any parents that say, no, no Halloween ever, and shield your kids from the absolute fun that comes with Halloween. This this 
could be their future. Now I'm running around here with Jack Skellington dolls. Now I have a whole room, closet dedicated to all my crazy, creepy outfits. Now I dress up as a damn devil, killer clown, whatever the hell this is. I might soon start identifying as a witch, all because I couldn't dress up as that yellow M&M. If you take anything from this video, let your daughter dress up as the yellow M&M. Okay, wait, I'm back because I, when I was writing this script, my mom called me and she was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm writing the script. I told you I was gonna talk about you. And she's like, oh my God, Michelle. I was like, no, no, we're talking about this publicly. Everyone's gonna know that I was a 70s girl every single year, minus just a girl in my like super tiny youth. And then later I get a text saying, Michelle, you don't know what you're talking about. Look at this picture. You were a ballerina one year when you were really tiny and you just don't remember. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of, wait a minute. I was a dancer. You most likely said, you guys want to go dress up for Halloween? Michelle, do you want to be a ballerina? Yeah, that's easy. It's right upstairs. And then tell me why my brother is a full on Power Ranger. One of his other favorite shows. <laughs> So once again, I'm just a girl that is a ballerina. I am myself, but in dance form. So once again, I have to dress up as much as I can because I was just a girl for every single Halloween. And I will continue, that kind of hurt. Actually, that kind of hurt a lot. To dress up, to make up for my lack of Halloween fun for my childhood. By the way, if anyone actually thinks that I'm being serious or I'm actually mentally traumatized from not celebrating Halloween and just being myself when we were allowed to be Halloween and my brother got to have all these really cool outfits and I didn't, um, you're right. I am completely mentally traumatized. My mom said that she wants me to send this to her after I get done editing it because she wants to show her new boyfriend. And hello, new boyfriend of my mother. This is who you're dating. An anti-Halloween fun sucker. Yeah, okay? Rethink it. Rethink it. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I?